Jill Knapp has a pretty cool life as an almost full-time musician who gets to tour the U.S. and Europe with L.A.'s oddball big band, the Industrial Jazz Band. Look them up online, they sound great. She's also a voice teacher here locally, as well as a painter, a published author, an actor, and a proud dork, which unites us with most of the people in this room. She supplements her artsy income by being a part-time computer nerd, running a teeny business called Nap IT, which provides training and consulting services for IT departments around the country. Our first international entry this evening, it's Jill Knapp talking about Hansen. Jill Knapp, and as uh, Mark just said, I live in North Wilmington. I'm a musician, a voice teacher, and an observer. And I'm here to tell you about the Japanese word of Hansei and how you can invite it into your life. So a lot of times, Japanese people kind of accuse Americans, and this is generally speaking, of being situationally unaware, oblivious about their surroundings. If everybody's being quiet, they're being loud. Or Japanese people ask, why do Americans blame things on other stuff all the time instead of just kind of accepting that maybe they're the ones who made a mistake? The word hansei in Japanese translates to self-reflection. And what that means is being aware of where you are standing or where you are in the world, and then how your actions or your location are impacting everybody else. Or you can look at it as, Hey, jerky, the world doesn't revolve around you. Wake up and look around. Or if your butt is in the middle of the hallway and you're blocking people, say you're sorry and mean it and get it out of the way, right? <laughs> now, in America, we don't really like to say I'm sorry because I'm sorry to an American is a really big deal. Because we say things like, my fault, I caused you pain, I accept the blame, here's my lawyer's phone number so you can sue me, right? That's what we mean in America, but in Japan, it's different. They have 12 different ways of saying I'm sorry. And when a Japanese person says I'm sorry, they really mean I'm just acknowledging that you've been inconvenienced and dude, that really sucks. That's kind of what they're saying. And this is kind of crazy, but imagine a little league coach. If a, if a kid blows the baseball game, the coach can't say, Johnny, you blew it. Instead, we say, Johnny, there's an opportunity for growth and improvement, and here's a trophy for your efforts. Everyone's a winner. But no, 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 that's not Hansei. Hansei is about us accepting responsibility and then stop making excuses. And this isn't just for little things. It's also for big things, too. Um, but so, like, in other words, if you're in the way, move. Now, the needs of the many outweigh the needs of the few. Think with me here for a minute. When you guys were all milling about out there, were you so engrossed in your conversation that you were blocking the stairs? If you were, you did not want to say, okay? Now, this is a Japanese anti-smoking ad. You'll notice that it says, a lit cigarette is carried at the height of a child's face. It says nothing about you getting cancer. We don't care about that. We're worried about your smoking inconveniencing other people. Right? You did? <laughs> now, <laughs> I love this art. Um, when Japanese people use their cell phones in public places, they only text because that's less intrusive than <laughs> Americans in public places yapping on a cell phone in the middle of a. You know, <laughs> if we crank our stereos at 2 in the morning for a quiet neighborhood, you are not doing Hansei. If you're taking 23 hours to figure out your order when you're finally up in front of the line, when you could have figured it out when you were back in line, you're not doing Hansei, folks. <laughs> this guy in the douchey loafers, look how <laughs> brother-in-law because he's like, hey, nothing's wrong, I'm uncomfortable. My brother-in-law's like squished up because of that guy. So if what you're doing, if you don't see that there's a problem, dude, that's a problem, okay? That means that you're not looking deep enough, wide enough. In order to do Hansei, you have to believe that it is within the realm of cosmic possibility that you are not 100% right all the time. Crazy, I know. So people who don't do Hansei are often considered selfish situationally unaware, willfully ignorant, obviously American, or a big old douchebag. <laughs> Why don't Americans do Hansei? I think it's because of this thing called the linguistic relativity principle. Look down at the bottom there. If there's no word for it in our language, we don't do it because it's not culturally ingrained to do it. So words are more than just sounds and words. I mean, I'm sorry, language is more than sounds and words. It's our culture. Okay, great. So how do you now invite Hansei into your life? Step one, there's actually four steps. Step one, look around and recognize that maybe 
there's some room for improvement. Step two, be open to the feedback. So that feedback should ideally come from you, like you should be doing self-correction on your own, but if it comes from somebody else, move out of the way, jackass, listen to it, and then do something about it. Step three, take personal responsibility.